So the new Green Revolution, that's what we're starting to call Green Revolution 2.0, is a, uh, an, a new emphasis on looking at areas that were left behind during the first Green Revolution. So looking at Sub-Saharan Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa has been left behind in the first Green Revolution, but also in areas where the Green Revolution took place, like India looking at parts of India which did not have a Green Revolution and trying to bring about increased productivity of agriculture in these areas. And right now Sub-Saharan Africa has a lot of attention. A lot of agencies are looking at how do you increase agriculture productivity here, not just for rice and wheat and maize, but also for cassava and millets and other crops which are important to Sub-Saharan Africa. So it's a much more diverse uh, green revolution than the one that took place earlier on. And, and as you look at this diversity of crops, then of course you can't have only one or two institutions internationally doing this job. So you need a lot of local players, you lo need a lot of regional institutions working with global institutions to make this happen. And, and we see that happening. We see big changes taking place. Cassava, for instance, you see dramatic increases in productivity in cassava. Similarly, maize, uh, productivity levels have been rising in Sub-Saharan Africa. So we are beginning to see this Green Revolution 2.0 happening. So when we think about malnutrition, <clears throat> we have to ask ourselves, is it an issue of enough food or is it an issue of the right type of food? So if you know, traditionally during the Green Revolution, we talked about, do we have enough food? And people interpreted that as, do we have enough rice and enough wheat and enough maize? Staple crops. But it didn't give us a balance of diets. So we may have enough calories, but we may not have enough protein and enough micronutrients in our diet. So what we need is a, di a food system that's much more diverse. And the diversity in the food system is going to come through increased expansion in supply of vegetables, fruit, livestock products, um, etc. And, and I think the new Green Revolution has to say, what are we trying to do? Are we trying to improve nutrition? Or are we trying to improve just you know overall food supplies overall staple food supplies if if the answer is we want to improve nutrition we need to look much more at the diversity of the food system and that's the main way in which you address the problem of malnutrition